Mr. Excel Podcast, sponsored by Easy Excel. Don't fear the spreadsheet podcast, episode number nine, a formula. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen from MrExcel.com. Tyler Nash has today's question. I knew that we'd get to this point. The book aims to take someone who's at level one and move them to level four. Level one, all they do, open an attachment and click print. Level two, they start to learn how to do some formatting. All right, so some simple little cell styles here and so on. But uh, that gets you to the 40th percentile. Beyond that, you have to do, well, I'll let Tyler describe it. Okay, so I've entered some data into my spreadsheet and now I want to add some additional values based on the data already entered. I've heard that you can do this with a formula, so how do I build a formula? All right, Tyler, I'm glad you asked, right? This, this separates uh, casual use of Excel from powerful use of Excel. And it's the reason that spreadsheets were invented, the, the whole formula. All right, so here we have the department luncheon plan. Uh, you know, we've got everyone's order, and we need to figure out uh, how much petty cash we're going to need for this. All right, uh, everyone who gets a sandwich gets chips. So I need to add up all of those cells into the chips. All right, 7, 10, 13, 14. No, no, don't type it. No, don't use a calculator. Don't use an adding machine. This formula right here to add up the numbers just above, we're going to use the auto sum. Auto sum is this funny looking Greek E out here, the letter sigma. I click on that, and Excel proposes a formula that's going to sum everything from B4 colon B7. Everything in the marching ants is going to be summed. Beautiful. Click enter. There we go. And now if someone comes along and says, hey, no, I don't want a meatball sub. I want a BMT. And we change that. That formula updates just like that. Cool, huh? Drinks. Everyone who gets chips gets a drink. So I just need to pull that number down. All right. So this is going to be a regular formula. All formulas have to start with an equal sign. And we're actually not going to use any operator at all. So we'll hold off on that. Type an equal sign. Use the mouse. Click on the cell we want to copy or pull the value from. And enter. All right. So now if we change, someone comes along and says, oh, hey, I'm not going to make the meeting. Uh, cancel my meatball sub. All right. You see that number updates and then that number updates. Sweet. Right. Okay. Operators. Addition plus sign, just like you would expect. Subtraction minus sign. Ah, but multiplication, it's not an X. It's the asterisk. Division, not the little divide sign. Divide sign, it is a regular forward slash. These are kind of specialized. We'll talk about these later. Join text with an ampersand, exponents with a caret. All formulas have to start with an equal sign. So let's see if we can do something a little bit more fancy, figure out the total cost. All right, so we come out here. All formulas start with what? That's right, equals. All right, so we want the how many, and then I use on the keyboard times the asterisk, the cost each, and press it. Enter. There we go. There's our formula. 7 times 6 is 42. All right. Now, this is really cool. The formula for this cell is just like the formula for that cell. All right. It's how many of this row times cost each of this row, so I don't have to re-enter it. That little square dot there is called the fill handle. I'm going to click on the fill handle. I'm going to drag down, and it's going to create the same similar formula all the way down. Now, here we have a problem. 1 times 350. They're rounding it off. I want to see the two decimal places. So, we'll go back and do a little bit of cell formatting there. All right. So, now, uh, someone comes along and says, now, hey, get me a meatball sub. That number updates. Or, Subway calls and says, hey, the sandwich of the, of the month is the, the turkey, uh, turkey sandwich. It's only 5 bucks. So, we change that and the number updates. Cool, right? Subtotal, we want to add up everything above us. What's that again? Auto sum. Come out here, click the auto sum. It shows us what numbers it's going to add up, and we'll press enter. All right, now I know Subway, you don't tip the guy at Subway, the sandwich artist, but uh, our Subway actually delivers. So we, we do give the guy a 15% tip. To calculate a 15% tip, it's equal 0.15 times, and I'll click on this cell here. And there's our tip. Now, total. I could maybe use the auto sum to add up the two numbers just above me, but in this case, I'm just going to use the plus sign. So, equal this cell, the subtotal, plus the tip. There we 
we go, 117.25. And the beautiful thing about spreadsheets and formulas is as the data changes, right, as Joe calls and says, I changed my mind, I don't want a BMT, I want a uh, turkey, I change those two numbers and everything calculates uh, right down the uh, throughout the whole spreadsheet. That's the reason that Dan Bricklin and Bob Frankston invented a spreadsheet back in 1978. They were tired of using a calculator to do the same types of calculations over and over again. Uh, that product was called VisiCalc, and it's still, in my opinion, the reason why we have spreadsheets today. Change some input cells, all of the formulas update, and we're good to go. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next episode. Check out Don't Fear the Spreadsheet. This book makes itself for dummies look like it was written for rocket scientists.